I love selling records. That's that's what I love doing, and, and turning people onto new music. And it's I don't want to hide tracks. I want to make share the music. That's that's what it's there for. And that's what's been great about DJs and stuff is they've been able to bring music that was forgotten. And it is a genuinely better sound most of the time. And these you know these vinyls are, are things that are really cared about. You know the cutting engineer. There's a lot of thought goes into it, um, which I think was lost through CDs. It was CDs are all about making money and vinyl is definitely about bringing music to people and, and I think it's, it's kept the music industry going for, all, for the last couple of years. This is an incredible record, Lula Cordes, Zeha Mayo, um, a record called Pai Biru. This is the holy grail of Brazilian music. Um, super rare, at the time before we reissued it, it was going for like 6,000 bucks. The record was made in a uh, town called Recife in northern Brazil, very marshy town, and, and the record manufacturers just got flooded and all of them got damaged, just a few survived. Basically, what happened was a friend of mine um, found that this record had been bootlegged. Uh, he, he managed to sue the company who bootlegged it, and from that money, he did actually, we did actually pay for Lula's chemotherapy. And also, having got in contact with Lula, we thought, well, why don't we reissue this record? So we were able to reissue it and, and give royalties to Lula and his family. And I never knew this record existed till I was told, told about it. It was that rare. Sadly, he's passed away now, but this is a great record. And it revived the whole interest in the kind of psychedelic scene in Brazil. Yeah.